I will be giving you a brief overview of all the specimens that we have in the female genital system in our museum. So we have three specimens of mature cystic teratoma as you can see. It's the second one and this is the third one. All of them have a lining which is composed of stratified squamous epithelium and appendages of the skin as you can see here is also visible. Then we have simple serous cyst of the ovary. It is a unilocular cyst and you have a serous wall lining the cyst. These two are multiloculated cysts but they are also serous cysts of the ovary. We have another serous cyst which is much bigger. It's cut open and displayed. There's also serous cyst of the ovary. We have this one is a hemorrhagic cyst. The hemorrhage could have been caused because of twisting of the pedicle of the ovary. So you can see that the wall is hemorrhagic and dark in color. Then we move on to another huge specimen of cyst in the ovary. When you look carefully, you can see it is a multiloculated cyst and the walls are gelatinous. It was filled with mucin when it was removed from the body. The next specimen which I would like to show you is the mucinous cysterinocarcinoma. You can see that there are multiple solid areas in addition to the gelatinous walls of the multiloculated cyst that you can see. Here is another example of mucinous cysterinocarcinoma. Again, you have a lot of solid areas in there, which gives you evidence that it is malignant. So we will move on to the 